All right, this fly is going to be uh, a damsel nymph. Um, these are very, very important flies in still waters. I fish still waters quite a bit. Um, a couple nice features of still waters. They grow very large fish, uh, and they don't get uh, as crowded as some of the real popular streams. I'm going to start this fly with a pair of mono eyes tied about two head lengths back from the front of the hook. I like to use mono on these because when this fly migrates, when it gets mature and migrates, um, they swim very high in the water column. Uh, and this mono is a light enough eye that it won't sink the fly real deep. And just figure eight that on like a set of bead chain eyes or a set of uh, lead dumbbell eyes. Then take the thread to the back of the hook. I'm going to use some marabou with very, very long fibers. Uh, and these long fibers are going to let me tie the whole fly with one set of marabou. Uh, I won't have to tie in additional clumps and add bulk to this fly. These bugs are very, very slender. I'm going to measure, measure the tail at about a hook shank length. Maybe just a little bit more than that. Tie that in at the back with one tight wrap of thread. And then lift the butts and do several wraps on the hook shank itself. I'm going to take a single strand of Mirage Flash material. Hold the butts up. I'm going to wrap everything in front of the butts of this material. Get that Mirage Flash wrapped on. And I take that same strand, fold it backwards on the other side of the hook. So I've got one strand on each side of the tail. I'm going to lift the tail up and put a support wrap underneath the tail. That will help keep the tail from tipping down in the back of the fly. Pull forward on that, wrap down on the hook shank. You turn the fly, cut that second strand about the length of the tail. And I'm going to tie it back in and use that same piece for the rib. Bring the thread forward all the way to the eye of the hook. Grab the butts of the marabou and I give them just a little bit of a twist. That twist will help keep them from separating and flattening out as I wrap them forward. I'm going to wrap them all the way past the eyes. Wrap them good and tight right at the base of the eyes. All the way to the eye of the hook where the thread's at. Hold them up. Tie them off. Trim those, take my rib, and I'm going to reverse rib that up through the marabou. Again, all the way to the eye of the hook. Tie that off. Then I'm going to take some spooled antron or and have to be spooled. I, I use a lot of it, so I buy it on the spool. It's a little more economical that way, but you can use Zelon or Antron, any of those materials that kind of end in T-R-O-N, Zelon. And I'm going to use a little bit of the uh, Mirage Flash. I'm going to mix those into one bundle. So I've got the Mirage Flash and the Antron mixed into one bundle. I'm going to turn those around. And I lay the butts so they're about even with the base of the tail. Right on top of the hook. And make one wrap right at the eye of the hook. Keep them right on top. Then angle the thread behind the eyes. Make two wraps behind the eyes. 
And I take the rest of the material, double it over between the eyes, make a couple more wraps, and angle the thread right to the eye of the hook again. And whip finish the fly. Pretty quick fly, very effective. And I hold everything up about halfway back the body is where I trim that little wing pad off. And that's it.